High School Human Revealing Service. Some of you have been here before, some of you have not. Um, we have been meeting together for almost three years, developing a depth of communication and connection and supportive mutual healing and upliftment. And it occurred to us in the past year that, um, that we wanted to, to uh, share this with other people. So we're just doing what we do when we meet. We meet every week now. And we used to meet once a month, and then we met twice a month, and then we meet every week. And we're just, we're just showing you what we do when we get together. So to a certain extent, it's going to feel to you like you've just walked into the middle of a conversation and you don't know what's going on, and, and that's okay. Um, you have walked into the middle of a very long conversation. But the point is not the content of what we're talking about. The point is the process of what we're doing that we want to share with you. That's why, why we're talking a little bit an analytically already today. Like, how did you do that? How did you do that? That's the sort of thing that we're sharing with each other that we want to share with you. So it's not participatory in, in a certain sense. It's, it's just our, uh, our willingness to sit here and be as vulnerable and authentic as we possibly can in, in the, in the service and service to rippling it out to anyone who's interested. So um, we meet the first, I mean, sorry, it's like the first Saturday of every month publicly, and all are welcome. Men, women, it's a wise women revealing service, but men are welcome too. The difference between believing and knowing. Because it's, it's like when you come to a gorge and there's a, a rope bridge swinging there, and you know that you, you, you can step out on it, you, you believe you can step out on it and cross over that gorge. You don't know it until you actually take that first step. Well, that's what Nancy was talking about before, is how do you take these principles yeah. and actually walk the talk? Mm -hmm. how, how do you, and this has just been the quest of my life since I was a little girl, and I didn't even know it. But how, you know, I tend to be a person of extremes. I, I want to go all the way. If I believe that I am perfect, whole, and complete, I want that understanding to permeate every cell in my body, every thought in my mind, every breath I take, every action I take, every encounter that I have. Otherwise, it's not, it can't be partially true. Yes, that's right? exactly right. There isn't a fraction of God. There isn't, you know, so, so I'm very interested in always pushing those boundaries of, wait a minute, if, if what we believe is true, we shouldn't have problems with that. We shouldn't, you know, we should, but, and what you were talking about earlier about, I let it go. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, oh, it's not that we don't have the experience of um, hurt or injury, but to be able to just have the clarity, energetically, I guess, mm -hmm. or spiritually, to just go, oh, it doesn't stick anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, okay, I feel it, mm -hmm. boom. It's gone. It was an experience. I can appreciate the experience of it. Mm -hmm. I can talk about it with my friends, the people who were the. I mean, how hard is it when someone when we, when we perceive that someone hurts us, okay? To actually, we could talk to all our other friends about that hurt, right? But to actually talk to the person who we feel hurt by is very challenging. Mm -hmm. But look at the grace with which. You, you just did that. You were feeling hurt. You let it go. You talked about talked about it publicly. You talked about it with us. It's gone. Mm -hmm. It's not there. There's no charge for it to stick to, yeah, right? No. So that's the work that we've been doing, and that's an indi that's a that's a, to me an illustration of that perfect whole and completeness mm -hmm. um, in action. I think that the biggest thing that, that I have gained is that this is just this is a process. And that uh, I am in the process of gaining an awareness <coughs> and applying the principles of, that I'm learning to my life because I have a foundation of belief that God is everything. And, and this is the process of stepping into that belief on a deeper and deeper level mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. um, so when things happen, and I was just thinking about what you were talking about with that. When things like that happen, um, I realized that 
The significance of it is up to me. I give it its meaning. I give everything that happens to me its mm -hmm. meaning. As a matter of fact, I'm the author of what happens to me. So I can make it real, real heavy, or I can make it light, mm -hmm. I can, or I can just brush it off. Right. And that's my choice. And so I feel like it is that foundation of belief that there is but one, mm -hmm. and that we do have the ability and the power to create our lives that frees us to not get hung up. And I, I have to tell you, I, I noticed that with me with my friends this weekend. Because, and I, I don't know, I was thinking this as you were talking, but you know, these are women who are not in our philosophy. Okay? Uh -huh. And we, like I said, we've known each other for a hundred years. And I was very observant about how I used to be with them and how I am now with them, and I think they got it. It's, it's really a process. In fact, someone even mentioned it. Uh, one of the women is, a, is an Episcopalian bishop. Ooh, mm -hmm. uh, the other two women are very, very into um, Christianity. And so it was very interesting, the four of us talking and me watching them, and there was a time I would have been very judgmental about it, and feeling like this is the right philosophy. <laughs> oh, what are they talking about, you know? <laughs> but for some reason, and, and I'm telling you, maybe a year ago I would not have been able to say this, but for some reason it was so easy to just allow them, even when they were talking about God as though God were out there and not here. It was so easy for me just to listen and accept and allow. And I didn't even realize how important that was to me before. Do, mm -hmm. do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, like, it's like one of those things that just makes life flow so much easier. I mean, we had the best, best time and they just kept saying, oh my God, this was fabulous, and they kept thanking me for, you know, hosting and all of that. But part of it I know is because there was just no judgment. Mm -hmm. And they're wonderful women, you know, mm -hmm. but I could have, and there was a time that I would have just been, oh my God. Oh, really? You know, it's interesting because I've, uh, I've had kind of an opposite reaction to people talking about mm -hmm. God out there, mm -hmm. and that I... In a way, I support it by not by not um, talking about what I believe. It is interesting how I feel like I'm growing to uh, a, a place where I can be with any group and come from where I am now. Uh, and the thing that seems to be the difference is me. <laughs> I learned how to do it. It's not like they had to change. I had to learn how to be okay with being myself. And as I grow into being okay with being myself, yeah. it's easier for me to be with anybody yeah. and them being their selves. Yeah. So I, uh, it's, it's my progress. And, and, and that's the thing that's nice uh, that I have gained from this group. That uh, learning how to just express from who I am, from my heart, mm -hmm. is always going to be okay. My heart is truly in alignment <clears throat> with anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if I can come from my heart, mm -hmm. I'm all right. I can, I can move yeah. with anywhere. I mm -hmm. feel like I can move anywhere in the world mm -hmm. if I came from my heart. I wasn't worried about being judged. And I think that's the key. When you accept yourself for who you are, that speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. And people get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we mm -hmm. had not one incident in four days with all women of a problem of any kind. Mm -hmm. One of the things that came to, uh, to me that to be able to... Uh, consciously share the, our concept of what it is to live from the principles 
of this philosophy to be able to um, understand that that um, what we are doing here actually is a gift that other people could benefit from. Uh, and I recognize that it is not so much as we're doing it to uh, uh, um, get someone to do it like I did, we do it, but to have people to know that it is worthy of the adventure for each one to do their own, the way they want to do it, the how they want to share it, and that it is a benefit to to actually practice the principles in our life. It actually has benefited us and that what how it has benefited us, it would benefit others, not so much as them doing it like we do it, but doing it their way, that it is a benefit in practice. And I think that um, when I, I was reading this book, uh, Waddles, is that mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love Why, that, that book. Thing, Science and Science and yeah. Science and, 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 and he even talks about that, kind of like putting it practice in your life and you having this foundation of understanding and actually applying it is how you do it. You can have this information and it's useless if you don't put it to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And having a whole bunch, it's like having a whole bunch of knowledge and it's just a whole bunch of knowledge. And it's not necessarily something that, uh, 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 is going to benefit us unless we practice, put it into practice. You know, we're always consciously cre creating. But, and I've got, I woke up this morning at 4 o'clock <coughs> for about an hour. I had this th scenario going in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to thinking, so, well, you know, we're all consciousness. We know that. So when we leave our body and, and die, you know, we become what what people refer to as spirits, but but it, it, spirit. But it's all re it really is consciousness. Mm -hmm. Conscious. We know that our consciousness is always thinking. What do we think about then? Because we're what are we creating? This then? is such a great question. It is. Because if we it could is. know that, <laughs> <laughs> we would create it here. In fact, yeah. we do. So if that's this is this, this is a great question. Because I think we're at different levels of maturity in our consciousness. And there are some people who release their body and you know, re-emerge into pure consciousness who are still thinking about jealousy and addiction. Mm -hmm. And then they come right back into another experience where they can experience those things, right? And I think some people just have let that go. They just they feel mm -hmm. it, they go, oh, not that. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, that, that's not the experience I want. I want a different experience. And they change their thinking in their mind, and then they have a different experience. Whatever we do right here, we're sort of doing, I think, in slow motion, mm -hmm. what we do without a body. Mm -hmm. So if we want a good experience afterwards, we better work on it now. Exactly. Right? That's right? what, and, and that's yeah. what it happens. This is all yeah. there is. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This is all yeah. there is. Yeah. 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 This right. is the eternal, the eternal moment. moment. Yeah. yeah. So um, whatever is not a good experience now, it, we have to just really look at why have I created this to be? That's why I was saying about the entertainment. How am I being entertained mm -hmm. by this experience that I don't really like? Mm -hmm. When I look at it, it doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel good, but I created it for some reason. Why did I create it? Maybe that's not even important, why I created it. But if I could figure out why I created it, maybe mm -hmm. I could let it go easier. Um, because we're just refining our sense of what it is that feels good, what God is, what good is, what mm -hmm. we are, who we are. We keep refining it and refining it and refining it through the experiences that we have, that we have time, having a body, mm -hmm. to re reflect on. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the spirit world, I think it's all instantaneous. Yeah. You know, uh, we create, you know, whatever, whatever the whatever the feeling is, is instantly created. So we're creating feelings rather than things. 
Yeah, or creating experiences, experience, feeling yeah. experiences rather than actual things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I wanted to create, sorry. but creating. That's all. Yeah. I wanted to just go back to your saying the why, mm -hmm. and I was thinking when you said that, why am I doing that? What I have found is that why questions <clears throat> make me nuts. And so when you were saying that, I was thinking what I, what I like to do in those situations is that what am I doing? Uh -huh. What's going on right now? Yeah. I may never know why I did it right. you know, or, yeah. or right. behaved a certain way or thought yeah. a certain thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out. Yeah, and, and I wanted to add too that I think the work, this, this is sort of related to a previous part of the conversation, but the work that we did, that we have done together, mm -hmm. um, I think what happened for us is we, together, have gotten so big, we couldn't confine it to the little room with just the four of us mm -hmm. anymore, and it had to come into a bigger space, including more people. I think that's what actually happened mm -hmm. from an energy point of view or mm -hmm. from a spirit point of view. Um, that it's just, it, 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 it's emanating in a mm -hmm. broader, so with that broader sense than we're even aware of. I've listened yeah. to your conversation a, a, about the spirit <clears throat> world afterwards yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. And I kind of smile when I hear that because I, th I just think that with my imagination, I can take this that way, I can take it yeah. that way, yeah. I can take it this way, I can take it any way I want to take it. Yeah. And um, it really isn't significant to me mm -hmm. about that part. Uh, it's significant uh, how I'm doing it here and uh, how I relate to the greater part, how I am uh, bringing it through me. I mean, those kind of things I find significant. But I used to really think about that part, you know, the transition mm -hmm. and all that. But somehow, it just lost its interest in me right now. I mean, at this stage of my life. It, it's really, I'm not that, it's really about now, right now. Mm -hmm. Everything is about now mm -hmm. and how it is now. How am I experiencing the now? I mean, how that greater part of me is what I feel like is guiding me in the now. And that uh, uh, expanded awareness of me is, is uh, coming I'm learning how to let it come through this physical form mm -hmm. that I'm choosing to indulge myself in right now. Um, I don't, uh, I really don't think any of it is powerful enough to affect the greater me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the greater me is that part that knows everything, is everything, and is created. So any of this minor uh, experience that I'm having here on this plane, uh, uh, this physical expression is just intriguing. You know, mm -hmm. it's just something to explore and to see what it's like. But, uh, and each thing is now up to me to give its importance now. I can make it here, I can make it here, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, each aspect of it. I mean, when I think about my uh, challenges, some challenges that I am doing, dealing with right now, and uh, when I say challenges, oh, I think sometimes that, okay, I should be slim, and I should have all this energy, and I should be energetic, and all this stuff. You're shooting on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean doing all this shooting, and, <laughs> and then after I I I do it, I uh, almost laugh because I realize that this is all part of what I choose to be as my process, and. The amount of it that stays with me that I don't necessarily that I resist a challenge with uh, is totally my choice. Uh, what I want to focus on is what I'm going to continue and, and perpetuate. So it's really almost like I've taken my mind away from all that and put it on the now mm -hmm. to the point that um, uh, I've taken the 
importance of any particular behavior or experience. I've taken the importance out of it uh, because I'm only interested in what is contributed to me and um, and I'm going to grasp that anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, oh, okay, this is a now. What am I doing with the now? How am I applying it now? One day I said to myself, you know what? You've got paralysis of analysis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and maybe that's yeah. the whole therapist part of me, but I used to get so stuck in that. Yeah. And, and maybe it's because I took it to a place of beating myself and that's judging what, yes, myself. Yes, yes. And you that's have what to happens let go to me. Yeah. 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 In order yeah. to investigate the why question, mm -hmm. you absolutely mm -hmm. have to let go of judgment yeah. of yeah. either, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, any any outcome, any mm -hmm. out picturing of the energy. Mm -hmm. Because you have to be, it's true and true analysis, yeah. not judgment. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think that's, that's necessary for any way you live in. I really think because when you said that, I was really struck a chord. Uh, that 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 judgment uh, is just uh, just to spin in my wheels. I'm yes. judging yeah. it in any way. It yeah. just doesn't even. Yeah. It doesn't it's so even, non-productive. Yeah. Yes. It's so unhealthy. Yeah. 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 What is now, that was a judgment. Don wants it. Don wants it. It's not necessary for any one of us to have any opinion about that at all. Like opinions. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> opinions are spinning wheels. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. It's just I, a received experience. Mm -hmm. Analyze it if you must. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Transmute it if you want to, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and appreciate it. Exactly. Right? That's the whole yeah. the process. Yeah. 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 Yes. And I guess that that the reason it was significant to me that, to ask the, to talk about that was that, mm -hmm. that I woke up in the middle of the night thinking about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe the only reason I did was to hear what we said about being right in mm -hmm. the now and the mm -hmm. present. Yeah. Mm hmm. When all those, when those things occur, like for each one of us, I think they are all uh, tapping us on the shoulder about somewhere that we are, something are we involved in or something that we are doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, do, I think that all of it counts mm -hmm. as far as uh, contributing to us growing and developing and training our mind and our totally. everything does. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, because we've called it to us. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, we yes. Did. yes. And sometimes I find it quite interesting how I totally contradict, my, contradict myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I, I found, okay, I go into this and know it's just this way. <laughs> And then later, I'd be going a whole different direction and know it's that way. And I realized um, that I used to judge myself mm -hmm. when I did that. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like uh, uh, um, Emerson. I remember him saying that, and I felt so much better. Emerson could do it. One way in the morning, he may think one way in the morning uh -huh. and think a whole different way in the evening. Yeah, and well, I said, yeah, about, that's me. Think, think about the God that we say we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's seven billion of us that yeah. were created Ooh. from that God. Everyone with their own viewpoint. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it makes perfect sense that we can think one way in the morning and one way at noon mm -hmm. and one way at night. Mm -hmm. We can we can we can chew at something from one direction and completely switch directions and chew at it from here. Well right. that's me. Yeah. I would chew at it. Thank you so much, each of you. Mm -hmm. I feel you in my bones and uh, mm -hmm. the one you're chewing. Yeah. <laughs> The ones in my feet, actually. So that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, know, I am also in gratitude. You just, you mean so much to me. Absolutely. You make me think. Absolutely. And I miss you when I'm not with you. And I just love, love this being together, whether we're here or somewhere else. Eating or <laughs> whatever, playing, <laughs> playing, whatever we're doing. I just love it. <sighs> let's let's. I'm really a conscious of the heart field. Yeah. That, so let's just put our energy and our intention on that for a minute, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. and just really let that. 
just let it grow.